All right, guys, this is Matt Townborn, and this is Matt Townborn, and this is Matt Townborn, and this is Hey, what's going down, folks? This is Matt Townborn, coming at you with the, uh, the post fight. Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, hey, what's happening, folks? Uh, this is Nap Down Born. What's up? This is boy Nap Down Born. Come back at you once again. Hey, what's going on, folks? This is your boy, Nap Town Born. What up, folks? Your boy, Nap Town Born, coming back at you once again. Hey, what's going on, folks? Your boy, Nap Town Born. What's up, folks? Nap Town Born, the coast of Ice Cup, folks. I'd just like to take a moment to say Michael Katsidis, his brother died and he's still fighting, that's badass. Um, so I gotta take a moment out to respect that dude and then we're gonna move on. Questions I have about Juan Manuel Lopez. Does he have the skill to beat Rafael Marquez? Yes. Does he have the power to beat Rafael Marquez? Yes. Does he have the speed to beat Rafael Marquez? Yes. Does he have the chin to beat Rafael Marquez? I think so. But, I think he's going to go down. Matter of fact, I think they're both going to go down. Um, I think they both have a strong possibility of going down at least, multiple times even. Uh, do I think this fight's going to end in a knockout? Yes. Do I think Rafael Marquez has what it takes to beat Lopez? Yes. I think they both have a shot in this fight. But, looking at... Looking at some of Marquez's most, uh, most exciting, most notable victories against Vasquez, uh, the two times he beat him, uh, I have to, have to mention... That Lopez is much bigger than Vasquez, and I'm going to say stronger, and he's definitely faster. So you're dealing with a whole different animal in Juanma, in Juanma than you are with Vasquez. Um, no, I don't see this as a pick 'em fight. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be exciting, but in the end, I give most edges to Juan Manuel Lopez. Because we've seen both of these guys go down. Both of them. And this may not be the biggest guy Lopez has fought, but this is probably so far the best boxer Lopez has fought. He's going to give, Marquez is going to give Lopez fits and spots, fits every round, but in the end, I think the guy who goes down and doesn't get up, or the guy who gets stopped by the ref, is going to be Marquez. I'm not sure who the, uh, I think, I think Marquez is the underdog, but I'm just not sure who, what the odds are or anything. I don't keep up with that shit. I just watch the boxing community on YouTube to figure out who's the underdog and who's the favorite. Hold on. Somebody's rustling around in there. Oh, it's just my brother-in-law. Uh... The, the simple fact remains, though, that Juan Manuel Lopez is bigger than anybody Marquez has ever fought. Fast, 
more powerful than anybody Marquez has ever fought. And quite frankly, a lot, I mean, he's not a young man anymore, but he's young enough compared to Marquez. And <clears throat> just like one of the one of the factors that made the difference in the Marquez Vasquez uh, fight number four was youth and who had more left in the tank. And obviously Vasquez over injuries and battles and everything couldn't make the fight out of it that he could before. And so Marquez got a win, but all credit to him, he put it to Vasquez and ended it as soon as he could. But I think youth will prevail here. We've seen both of these guys go down. We know who's the older. We know who's the younger. We know they're both very determined fighters, very good fighters. But Wanma, I just think, has the edge in the most important departments here. And I, I'm rooting for Lopez, though. I, I was getting ready to say I'm rooting for Marquez, but truth be told, I'm rooting for Lopez here. I want... I want Lopez to win. I want him to do it good. Is he going to do it good? Yes, I think he's going to knock out Rafael Marquez. And I think he's going to do it in under eight. So I'm going to call Juan Manuel Lopez wins by knockout in the sixth round. I don't think this goes to the decision either way. If Marquez pulls it off, I don't think it goes to the decision. But there is a chance there. That's another factor for Marquez of taking it into deeper water and Lopez has only been to 12 three times, I think. Two, three, maybe four, I think it's three. And while I'd love to sit here and point out Matagua is a big downfall for Lopez, and maybe it was, I think since then we have seen improvement. I think that fight for all the shit he was put through served Lopez very, very well. And I think that fight especially if he remembers that fight, which I'm sure he does, is going to help him out a lot here. I'm telling you, Lopez, Marquez, both these guys know how to dig deep. And neither one of these guys are going to quit. So if they can if they can get up before the 10 count, somebody's going to have to stop them. Or they're going to... All right. They're going to have to let them duke it out until one of them can't get back up. And I just see Marquez, with Lopez's power... Just see Marquez hitting the canvas, man, more than Lopez. I do see Lopez being caught by Marquez early and dropping, but I think he'll just get up and well on Marquez. So, like I said, uh, Juan Manuel Lopez wins by knockout in the sixth round. Snaptown born, deuces. Oh, I am going to do Zab Judah and Luca Matisse. Uh, i got to do a little bit more research on Matisse. We've only seen him fight twice. Um... So, so far, I'm, le I'm heavily leaning towards Zab, even though I think a lot of people are going to be picking Matisse. But this is one of them fights where maybe Zab should lose, but I'm not going against my boy. <laughs> my boy Zab. Yeah, he's been a disappointment. He's pissed a lot of people off over the years. But if he can stay at 140 and, and maintain uh, on a round-for-round -round basis of game plan, focus, and stamina, which... He's older now, so stamina is just, I mean, if, it, if it's gone, it's gone. But at least he can focus more. So well, I, I'm not going to get into that here. Nap down, born again. Deuces. Oh, I am going to do Zab Judah and Luca Matisse. Uh, i got to do a little bit more research on Matisse. We've only seen him fight twice. Um, so, so far, I'm, le I'm heavily leaning towards Zab, even though I think a lot of people are going to be picking Matisse. But... This is one of them fights where maybe Zap should lose, but I'm not going against my boy. <laughs> my boy Zap. Yeah, he's been a disappointment. He's a lot of people off over the years, but he can stay at 140 and maintain uh, on a round for round basis of uh, game plan, focus, and stamina. Which, he's older now, so stamina is just going and going. But at least he's focused. Well, uh, I'm not going to get into that here. Nap down, born again. Deuces.